be like this, the capacity shrinks to somewhere in the mid-60s. It's the centerpiece of Olympic Park. So many of the events held it in the confines of Olympic Park. Beach volleyball, of course, was down by Buckingham Palace, and then you had the soccer out at Wembley, but for the most part, the majority of the events held right in this park. They did a pretty terrific job. Who knew that the World Wrestling Federation had a delegation here? <laughs> Mask Marauder in attendance. MMA next, huh? Two hundred four countries participated in the Olympics, and eighty-five countries won at least one medal. Seven won for the first time. Bahrain, Botswana, Cyprus, Gabon. The late great Omar Bongo would be pleased to know that one of his countrymen has finally won a medal. Who would have thought? Grenada also, Guatemala, and Montenegro won for the first time. Grenada's a gold of the 400, right? Harani James. A healing 19 year old star. Tom Daly, the great diver from Great Britain, who won a bronze last night. We saw One Direction out on the stadium floor a little while ago. Brian Seacrest was with us. Tom Daly, every bit as popular with young British ladies as any member of One Direction.
Morgan yeah. Blonde? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. In Harmony? In Harmony, right? She had that header in overtime to send the U.S. into the gold medal game, 23 years old. And they talk about inspiring a generation because that was the motto here. I asked her the other day, were you inspired by the soccer team in 96 and the World Cup winners in 99? And she said, you bet. That's Sydney LaRue along with her. After Alex Morgan's header won that epic battle with Canada, on to Japan in the gold medal game, and they top top others there. Four-time gold medalist, the ever effervescent Missy Franklin. And we return to London, closing ceremonies of these Olympic Games in just a moment.